Ryzen 5 1400. It's a 4-core and 8-threaded CPU that came out in 2017. It has a base frequency of 3.2 GHz that can boost up to 3.4 or more depending on the thermal headroom. Now I usually use this CPU to flash BIOS on older AM4 motherboards, which is what I was doing the other day, but then I remembered that there still are some people that game on this CPU, which got me curious and I really wanna know if it can run modern games at 60 plus FPS at 1080p resolution. So, without any further ado, let's head over to the benchmarks and see what this CPU can do. Let's begin with CS2. We are running this game on medium settings with upscaling features turned off. Initially, I thought I would get similar results from this CPU as I got from 4th gen i7, but it seems that our CPU is more like an i7-2600 in performance. Whenever I set higher settings in the game, I would get significantly lower FPS, and whenever there were explosions or similar effects with heavy textures, the performance would drop even further. At this point, I thought there was something wrong with this CPU, because I have not even seen this kind of behavior on a first gen i7 processor, which is like twice as old as our Ryzen 5 1400. After messing with it for a day straight, I came to a conclusion that this CPU is actually this weak. Either way, in this 10 minute deathmatch, we averaged around 80 FPS. I didn't necessarily see any starters, but for some reason, it just didn't feel as enjoyable as I wanted it to. Let's move on to another game, GTA 5. Now you would think that a 4-core and 8-threaded CPU from 2017 would run this game without a problem at 60 plus FPS, but the results were just too awful. The FPS did go into 90s when there was nothing going on, but the moment this CPU had to do some loading, like if we went into areas with many NPCs or if there were many exploding cars nearby, the FPS would instantly drop into mid-30s. At this point, I kinda started thinking that the CPU might just be not that great. I'm not entirely sure why this CPU is giving out such a bad performance, but I think it's mainly because of its low frequency or its older architecture. Either way, let's move on to a different game and see if we get any better results. Doom Eternal After being frustrated from previous results, I went into this game with mostly negative expectations. And to my surprise, Doom Eternal performed amazing on this processor. On ultra settings at 1080p resolution, we averaged around 160 FPS. While I was testing this game, I remembered when I tested the i7-3770 PC that had an RTX 3060 in it, which actually gave a better performance on much higher settings. So at this point I can say with confidence that Ryzen 5 1400 is just not a great CPU. Let's see what kind of results we get in other games. Forza Horizon 5 Here I chose the high preset with ray tracing set to disabled. I ran the built-in benchmark for about 8 times, and I gotta say, I was not satisfied. We averaged around 92 FPS. Occasionally, some textures would disappear for a second and come back, which was weird because I have never seen it happen on any other hardware, even on a single core processor. I even double, triple or quadruple checked all of the drivers, but it was simply an issue caused solely by the processor itself. I also tested this CPU in Need for Speed Heat because it's a really CPU heavy game and I wanted to see how it would perform in comparison to an i7-3770. On high preset at 1080p resolution, we averaged around 60 FPS, which is just about what we got on the i7. At this point we can clearly see that the results are all over the place. Some games are fine, but the other ones just perform terrible. Games like Halo Infinite or Witcher 3 performed shockingly well on this Ryzen CPU. I honestly thought that Witcher 3 would perform terribly, especially in series and whatnot, but I think it was one of the smoothest performing games today. Same goes for Halo Infinite. I really cannot understand why this CPU is behaving like this, but I've seen a lot of weird stuff and this is most definitely not the weirdest thing I've seen so far. Cyberpunk is the last game that we'll be testing today. I tested this game on both high and medium settings, but whatever I did, I just couldn't achieve more than 50 FPS on average. 
which is weird because when I loaded the built-in benchmark, it kept giving me 70 to 80 FPS on average on the same exact settings. I tried restarting the game and the PC multiple times in case there was some weird bug, but the results stayed the same. This is why it's important to use an actual gameplay instead of a built-in benchmark to test the performance because built-in benchmarks are preloaded and they barely stress the CPU. Now watching a replay, like we did in Forza Horizon 5, is a lot different. Even though it's a built-in benchmark, it is still gameplay. But games like Cyberpunk, Shadow of the Tomb Raider or GTA 5 have already preloaded built-in benchmarks, which is why I didn't use them in today's tests. Overall, I was expecting a bit more from this CPU. If you're still gaming on a Ryzen 5 1400, I think this might be about time for you to upgrade the CPU, because after seeing today's results, I don't think I can recommend it anymore. But don't give up just yet, because AM4 platform is known for its amazing upgradability. You can simply buy a better CPU, put it in the motherboard, and that's it. Just make sure that your BIOS is up to date. Other than that, I don't think there's much else to say about this CPU. I simply bought it to update BIOS on older motherboards. But I'm still glad that we were able to figure out what it's like to game on this CPU in 2024. And on that note, let's wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.